Alright guys, welcome to my first episode of Programming 101. Now, a few things about this series is that this is meant for somebody who has no idea on how to even start writing a program at all. That's something we're going to have to uh, cover. We're going to be covering what programming is, what it isn't, how to do it, how to get started, blah blah blah, blah basic code, uh, compilers, that kind of thing. Now, I've decided to do sort of a a simplified version of it. A um, few other things, uh, I suppose I'll go over some prere prerequisites. Uh, first of all, you should know what, how a computer works, the different parts like the CPU and the RAM, hard drive, you know, what the different types of memory are. Not, not variables or anything like that, that's not, we're going to go over that obviously, but like you're going to need to know like what's, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You're going to need to know what a like, you know, what loading into memory means, how reading and writing off a hard disk, even though we're not even going to get to that in this kind of uh, basic thing, but it's just something so that you know, you know, how things behave, CPUs, that kind of thing. Just general little things like that. Now, for this, we're going to learn a language called Java. Now, this language is, we're going to start with the Java language because it's a simple language, it's multi platform, it's a nice clean language, there's no real exceptions. Some languages, particularly C and C++, sometimes can have some weird oddities that you have to be careful of and have to be aware of. Uh, always, you know, particularly with strings and things like that. While Java is a very clean language and it works as you'd expect. Um, and Java is also, you know, a nice programming language to work. It's the language I work in for Android. It's the language I've learned. I started programming with when I was in college. So anyway, guys. We're going to switch over to the computer screen now and we're going to set up a basic IDE and we're going to take a look at a little bit of code and we're going to see what we can do with it and I'll show you then how it works. Okay guys, so I've picked our IDE, it's called NetBeans. Um, the jCreator IDE, which was free at one point, uh, I really, really wanted to use that but unfortunately we can't. It's really annoying, <laughs> the fact that the jCreator ID, because it's a really nice clean ID and it's really fast. I've always liked it. So anyway, we're just going to download NetBeans and install that. Okay guys, so now that we have uh, NetBeans, we're going to install NetBeans. And it's not a very big install, except... Yeah, yep, yep. Yeah. JDK. Remember now we also have to install the JDK. I'm not going through that step because well actually yeah I need to but so I'll just type in a uh, JDK. And we're gonna end up here. The Java SE downloads. And you want to just download the JDK and install that. I already have it installed, so I'm not gonna go through it. But when you've installed that you need to remember where you installed it, and then this here will, uh, as you can see here, look, the JDK 1.707 will be there. And next, blah, blah, and then we'll let this install away. Okay, guys, this is our IDE. Welcome. Um, okay, so the next video we're actually going to get, we're just going to get this set up and get our code, our thing tested. I'm just going to give you some code to write. Uh, I'll explain what programming actually is and that kind of thing and then we'll actually get into writing some code itself in the next episode but we're just going to get uh, things up and running so just make a new project yeah, choose project java java application next project name hello world usual documents net being projects yep create main class yeah finish Okay, so here is our thing. Now see this here, package hello.world, we can ignore that. Uh, we won't trouble ourselves too much with that. I need to try and shrink this a little bit. And I'm going to see if I can make the text any bigger. Options, editor, fonts, there we go. Hmm. How do I make it bigger? Ah, here we go, font size 13. 
We'll crank it up to 40 and actually make it 15. Make it nice and big. Uh, we'll actually make it like uh, 70, 18. Okay. And another looks very big, but I'm actually just going to maximize my screen, and that looks much better now, so you can see what's going on. So, uh, we'll, I will go over all these main details in a minute. I really don't like when people do that. The code does that. It's some sort of convention I don't like. Okay. So, in here, we'll go through all this public public class, blah, 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 public stack void. Bit. We'll go through what all that means in the future. But for now, we just have to type in system dot out dot print ignore the pop-ups here okay print ln and then in quotation marks write hello world with an exclamation mark and boom save and then click run project Okay, so as you can see at the bottom here we have an output and it says run, hello world, been printed out. So if you follow this correctly, you have just made your first program. <laughs> You've just written your first code. So that's all for this. Um, one thing is, as I said, remember you have to download the JDK, download NetBeans and get this working. Google if you can't get it working, but once you get this working, uh, we're going to start actually talking about programming and what it is, what it isn't terminology that kind of thing in our next video but this is just to get everything started and tested so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed the first episode of programming 101 next episode we're going to start with lots of new stuff